Taurus friends. How are you guys doing? Happy December. We're almost in January. I say almost because let me tell you, I am so late with these reads and I truly, truly apologize. So please forgive me, my friends. So I hope you guys have been doing wonderful. Hopefully this read reaches you at the right time. So guys, I, quick apologies. I fell behind with all the video reads. I'm still catching up, guys. If you're waiting on your video, it's coming. Sorry, the vacation got me as well as I've been struggling with some intense migraines, so please forgive me, all right? With that being said, I want to say welcome back to everybody who has come back to join. And if you're new, let's go ahead and get some things out of the way. If you're easily offended by language or content, I may not be the reader for you. And these are general reads, meaning that they may or may not apply to you. Just grab the pieces that do and throw the rest to the side. <laughs> or watch your rising or your moon. Stay tuned for oracles or check your weeklies. All right? It's all up to you. Okay? Just realize that these are generalized energies just for guidance and um, some help. All right, guys. Let's jump into our read. We have before us... Two cards, Taurus. What's going on, my friend? What are you going through, my Taurians? You are going through something. Earth signs are going through something. I did Capricorn yesterday, and the dancer frustration came out for them also. So, I don't know. Earth-like energy is um, going through some things. However, let's focus on the Hunter of Mysteries. Basically, what I'm getting with the Hunter of Mysteries, I attribute this to the Moon card, the High Priestess, and the Magician. Taurus, you got everything you need to make everything happen. You are in control. You are it. You are the freaking dolphin totem. You are able to communicate at levels that other people can't even fucking understand. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, you are smart and you are like so intelligent and intuitive, but you need to trust that energy. You need to explore deep within yourself to give form to your ideas, your thoughts, your actions, and your words because everything affects everything. What you think you will say what you say you will do what you do is who you become so watch the energy that you're manifesting and use all of that to connect with the universe all right this is about change is about to happen and that's why the dancer frustrations up there doing her dirty dance for you trying to show you her moves and you're steady watching it you're afraid of change but it's a coming the dancer of frustration wants you to know that there's new ways to learn from a challenge okay it's telling you opposition is coming. You feel blocked. But believe you me, you will find a way. You will overcome. You are a Taurus. I mean, you are the bull of heaven, baby. You can make it happen in any form and in any fashion. All right? If you feel like your paths are blocked, just know that this spirit is dancing with you so that you will see that you have many options. You are the magician. You have earth. You have fire. You have water. You have... I went blank air so you have everything you need in your arsenal for attack baby you are it taurus you got it going on this month so let's jump into your read this will be a five card spread focusing on our past present hidden influence advice and possible outcome we will be using the babylonian tarot by sandra tabitha cicero all right with that being said i have already pre-shuffled your deck i'm going to pull i'm going to split them in half and tell you the beginning energies that i see going on with you Woo! Lots of fire energy. So I have the Ten of Wands reversed. And you are dealing with a fire sign, a ladies or gentleman, whose um, sexual game is on hot fire, okay? I mean, this is Pazuzu right here, swinging and banging his big piece. And all I got to say is it's time for new energy, okay? This situation could have gotten you in trouble with the fire sign, but you're ready to move on. Now, I look at my other side, there's another fire sign. So you got fire, fire already. My goodness, you're on hot fire. You also have creative energy going. I want you to know that if you were in a situation where you felt heavy and oppressed, it is soon over and your creative juices are starting to flow. Let's bless these cards together. Thanks to Tio, bless this deck to show us the energy that you have for Taurus. Show us clearly and concisely the energy that they are working with. Archangel Michael, cover up with purple light and share the energy that you have for Taurus. Okay, I want more and I think that'll be it. That's it. Okay, I'm going to move our two little guiding spirits out of the way. Now, in your past situation, you had the chariot. Somebody left somebody. Taurus, somebody left you or you left them, all right? Either way it goes, they're halfway out the door, 
Okay, in the present situation, woo, the queen of arrows, slicing and dicing and getting stuff done. All right, the hidden influence. Time to make a choice. What's the song? Um, Crossroads. <laughs> I swear every time this comes on, I'll meet you at the crossroads so you won't be lonely. All right, I'll meet you at the crossroads. All right, bone thugs. All right, the advice is the three of cups. Let's drink it up. Let's celebrate. And the possible outcome is a two of disc with balance and change. And your overall energy, I'm going to pull these two cards from the bottom. Well, these three cards are for you, baby. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to give you all. Oh, my gosh, Taurus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. you got a lot going on. Okay, your beginning energy was the universe, okay? Then you had your angel show up. I don't know if I'm even showing you these. Okay. Then I have the six of disc. And the king of disc, and that is you, Taurus. But I'm gonna pull those to the side because there's a whole story right there for you. Okay, so this might be a little bit longer than usual. Earth signs, I feel like y'all are going through stuff. Okay, I can't wait to do the the um week monthlies, weeklies. Sorry, I'm moving y'all a little bit closer because I want you to see things a little bit better. See, I've been going through all this kind of stuff lately. I think the Mercury retrograde shadow period has already been in effect with me. Okay, so let's jump into your read. In the past, you conquered something. You got your control back. You're moving and grooving and you're leaving the situation. You left something in the past and you want to move towards the future, okay? Now, the way that I see the chariot moving right now is almost like you're still half in and you're half out. You haven't really truly decided, but this is you because this is, look at all these tourists around you. Or you're dealing with a water sign, one of the two, Pisces. I really feel like you're gaining, you were regaining control and you're using the energy of the, um, I'm about to say high priestess, but that is the queen of arrows, who is also the high priestess. This is Ishtar and Ishtar, I'm telling you, Ishtar is a very decisive woman. Okay. So either you are taking all these characteristics of this decide decision making and you're cutting through the bukaka or you're dealing with somebody who is not going to put up with it. Okay, and at the present moment, she is getting information and insight, and she's not going to deal with it. She's not going to play your game. She's not going to do this. She is ready for you to make a choice. Okay, for some, that is the choice of marriage. All right, and the reason why I say that is because it's the two of wands with the rod and the ring. The thing that's going on, this is your hidden influences. Right now, you're at the crossroads, so you won't be lonely. Okay, you need to make a choice. Do I stay? Do I go? What, what is it that I really and truly want? And what am I doing to get there? I know I ask these questions a lot, but I think they're really simple questions that we fail to ask ourselves when we're in these kinds of situations. So with the two of wands, what I'm getting is control, power, and dominance. You want control. You want to know the outcome. You want to know what's going to happen before it's going to happen. That's not the way it goes, my friend. You have to make the choice before you know what's going to happen. And the Hunter of Mysteries is telling you, you already know. Even though it looks like ain't nothing going your way, the reason why those things didn't go your way was because there's another way. There's a better way, okay? Now, with that being said... We are moving right into your advice. I'm going to tell you, for some of y'all, y'all might be in a three-party relationship. This would be a good time to stop it, okay? This would be a good time. And for others, this is just you enjoying life, being abundant, enjoying the love that's being poured into you. Maybe you're dating. Maybe you're meeting new people, but enjoying it. Do not overindulge, however. Just enjoy it and drink of the cups, okay? Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. That's what I'm really getting because you've been through a lot. Because I have like very decisive action, crossroads, celebration, two people, okay? Now, the way that I'm looking at this two of disc right now, the possible outcome, like I keep telling you, there's somebody who was involved in a three-party relationship. Because the two of disc for me, I see one little alien guy in front of the other, like they're watching each other and the wheels are going in two different directions. Um, it's almost like two eyes looking right at you. So... For some, you're going to be looking to see what your ex is doing. You see the big X. For others, you're just ready to change. You're ready to find the balance. You're ready to recover, okay? You're ready to do new things. That's what you want, Taurus. You want something new. You are ready for something new. And I also noticed that all your cards are upright so far, so that's really good. Um, your energy is different. 
you are harnessing a lot of your arsenal tools. You're working with different energies this month, all right? So I told you there's a whole big story on the bottom. So this is what I'm getting from the bottom. This is your overall energy for the month, Source. I don't know. This is a lot of cards, okay? So you are in control. You are the king of disc. You are working hard. You are loyal. You are developing and harnessing your skills as a man, okay? Or as a woman, businessman, businesswoman. You will get the assistance that you need. This is a good give and take situation. Someone's helping you. You're helping them, okay? It is not someone taking advantage of you. And you are being blessed in the love situation. I think you might possibly meet somebody while you're working at work. Um, somebody who works as hard as you. It's somebody who understands what you do. It's somebody who who's going to support you and you're going to support them. And it's a blessing. You didn't, you didn't think you were going to find that. And it's telling you to leave the past behind. You see, this is the horse that got you into the problems and this is a horse that's going to get you out of the problems that just came to me okay so there's somebody new coming in or somebody who wants to pull you out of the past because the ancestor of hope is letting go of the past reaching for new horizons and going towards the next level this these feet they're on the ground these feet are ready to run uh the dixie chicks just came to my head ready 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 to run i used to love the dixie chicks Oh, please don't slam me because I just remembered something happened with them and Beyonce. <laughs> I just used to love them a lot. I used to listen to that a lot when I would drive. Um, so this is time to expand. Take a leap of faith and the power to change. So you're going to have help to change. And, and this is about freedom to move on or to let others move on. The ability to see beyond the trial. And I feel like you're going to get the help this month to do that because it's time for a new adventure. The universe is saying the past is complete. Allow it to happen and move forth, my friend. Get up on that horse and let's go for a ride, okay? So for some of us, we're going to just move on. And for others... You're still dealing with the energy of what you should do, okay? I'm going to put those to the side just because I feel like that message was really strong and I wanted to make sure that you got it. Now, let's clear. Oh, let's clarify. This queen that might be coming into your life, she's very decisive. She's a good business person. Um, or he, remember this is general. This person does not play, though. They get right to the point. They're very blunt. They're very honest. She's not going to play with you. If you just want to play, she's not going to play. Or he. They're not in the mood for playing. What message does the Queen of Arrows want Taurus to know? Okay. Whew, it was about damn time is what she's saying. <laughs> So the wheel is coming in and it's upright and it's telling you, hey, this is a good time to move on. This is a good time to try something new. This is great. Let's try it. It's good timing for both of us. The wheel is finally going in the right direction. Okay. Now, let's see. I want more on the hidden influence other than just the crossroads. I want to know more on the hidden influence. fire there's someone else there's someone who's who's got you doubting do i go with this or do i go with that that is that two of disc energy that you got going on or this is you taurus trying to decide do i do the decisive action or do i follow my passions because the hidden influence is the two of wands which was i was telling you the crossroads so there's a decision to be made do i follow my logic or do i follow my passion do I pick this or do I pick that? And let's see what the Carib of Cups has for us. I thought I clarified the Carib of Cups. Oh, that was from over here. Sorry. <laughs> let's clarify the Three of Cups. The Carib of Cups was the ancestor of hope that was telling you to move on. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, no third party entities. Don't be don't have too many, baby, because someone's gonna drop their love for you, okay? That's not for all of you, that's for a couple of you who are out there trying to balance two people. It may not work, okay? One of them's gonna find out and that cup's gonna go boom boom boom. 
okay? And which is going to leave you with two. And you're going to be always wondering about the other. But let's see. What does the two of disc have for us? Don't be playing the steel Taurus unless you want to get caught. <laughs> let's see. It's about time, Taurus. You've kind of had a pretty rough day. It's time for you to have some drama and some fun, huh? You deserve it. Okay. Your wish is your command, my friend. Party up. Nine of cups. Let's drink. <laughs> let's have a good time. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's balance that, though. Balancing of fun and of um, work, okay? So enjoying yourself, Taurus. You have an interesting month coming up. I'm telling you, you're going to get the help that you need. You're going to release your past. You're going to move forward. You're going to make decisive actions. You're going to follow your passions. You might get caught up in a love triangle, but it's okay. You know what? Because you still come out getting what you wanted. Sometimes we learn from those situations. We learn not to do them again sometimes. Or we learn that, you know, sometimes it's not fun being on the other end. Either way it goes, Taurus, you have a wonderful month coming up for you. You're going to have some excitement. The wheel is telling you just make a decision. Move on. Make your choice. You don't have to take both of them. Just pick one. You know, don't be, don't be greedy. Give to the needy, my friend. And at work, just know that the assistance is coming, that you're going to get all the help you need. You are moving in leaps and bounds, and your wishes will be fulfilled. All right? So I wanted to pull out, you got two cards, actually, for your Oracle read. And you got the Peace Pipe. And I feel like this is dealing with your past. And this is about healing your old wounds with people and situations and doing whatever you need to make amends. This is you at that crossroads thinking, what do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I, you know, is this air sign for me? Is this fire sign for me? Is, you know, am I being decisive? Do I follow my passions? What do I do? But you're a mender and you build a, bri a bridge and there needs to be um, time for peace. Do it now. Okay. It's time to forgive. You either need to forgive someone else or forgive yourself, Taurus. Okay. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there's a person from your past with whom you should reconnect. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. It's time to bring peace to your life so that you can embrace. Because the, the queen of arrows is telling you, move ahead. Follow your passions. Move. Go. Don't stay back here. Okay? So you need to make peace with your past in order to embrace your future. And once that happens, you have spirit of air coming in. I think that's, look, it's fire and air. Again, clarity and expansive perception of life is emerging. You're being advised to see life from a higher perspective. Clear out the old mental clutter and breathe. All is well. Don't be concerned. Communicate your truth. Take care of details. Pay attention to those things that they don't slip through the cracks, okay? Okay. The spirit of air carries the energy of change and transformation, inspiration, freedom, perception, communication, and communion. The element of air also allows you to see situations from a higher perspective. This card indicates that this is time for some major organizing and clutter clearing. With that being said, I'm going to tell you I pulled two runes for you. Pertho, the secret. One of them, you're not supposed to know the outcome. You know the beginning, you know how it ended, but you don't know what else is going to happen. So this is telling you to be aware that there are some things that you don't know about, you know, and it's okay. Take a chance. You never know that might be the one or that job might take you to the next level or that person may be the blessing in disguise you're looking for. Whatever it is, jump on it and go with it. Then we have Fehu. Fehu is about abundance. It's about joy it's about money and earned wealth and good fortune so this is like moving to the next level for me it's like um you don't know how good it can be that's what i'm that's what i'm picking up you don't know how good it could be once you release the past once you allow things to happen forgive yourself if you did something wrong, understand that people make mistakes and you're going to get your hopes and wishes. You, my friend, just have to decide because you have like two, two great options. Either way you go, you're going to be happy, okay? You just need to do what's right for you. With that being said, I wanted to roll the dice to see what's the number that's going to be leading Tarns this month. What can they establish themselves on? What's working for the Taurus energy? It is a three. <laughs> yes, some of y'all are in three-party relationships. 
Some of y'all need to work on that, okay? It's the holidays, guys. You ain't want to go out and buy that many damn presents, do you? I mean, I'm just saying. Anyways, the three is a very powerful number. There is power in the three. But this is also about conflict and caution. Three is a party. Three is a crowd, okay? This is about you having to realize one thing does not go with the other. So whatever it is, people, places, and things that you feel don't belong or have anything to do with what's what you want in your life, cut them things off like the the queen of arrows does she just suck, 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 suck. i feel like she's like karate chopping and like slaying them things down like she ain't got time for it okay and then the queen of wands is like burn that shit to the ground she don't give a damn and put some air on it so it'll go even higher okay so just understand that you have the power of three that you are i don't want to say like the holy trinity but you have all the things in your tool chest that you need tarns to be happy. So just harness that energy. Remember, this is just guidance and intuition that's coming. It is not the all-knowing, all-saying, all right? Take the parts that resonate with you. Harness good energy. Make great choices that are going to be good for you. Not worrying about what everybody else is doing, but just worried about what's good for you, okay? Harness the energy of the three. Research what three means. Uh, and then pick out the parts that resonate with you. All right, you get your wish, my friend. I know we had a lot of cards come out for you, but you have like some big altering life changes coming and the wheel is moving in your favor, okay? So it's up to you, Taurus. You make the choice, you make the call, all right? So if you'd like a private reading, feel free to contact me at arianaluciano at gmail.com. Also, um, be just... Be on the lookout. I'm going to be putting out a mid-month check-in, check-out. Check out 2016, check-in 2017, what to leave behind, what to bring forth, and the energy to harness. So stay tuned. Also watch the monthlies, the weeklies, guys. And thank you for being patient with me. Big hugs, lots of love. Until next week.